Hey everybody! Oops, uh, hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Arctolet 3. Okay, as you can see, we're back at the library I reloaded and actually figured it out. So, uh, I gotta say, this is a good riddle, a, a good puzzle, I should say. Uh, however, uh, I am reasonably, reasonably sure that most people, me included, are not going to be able to solve that just from hearing these clues. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just particularly stupid. But it was easy enough to figure out once I actually drew a little uh, a little chart on paper, uh, noting down the information that each of the people gave. And uh, especially now that we know that, once you know that Gantz is not uh, lying, it's, uh, it's solvable immediately. But so long as you don't know uh, whether What's his face? Uh, the student dude, uh, Yonan or Gans are lying. Uh, it's a little bit tricky, but it ends up so that if you if you uh, take uh, if you if you take Yonan's uh, Yonan's, uh, Yonan's information, um, that conflicts with both the student and Gans ultimately. So, I guess that makes you... That way you can arrive at the conclusion that he must be lying. Because uh, otherwise both both of the other guys would have to be lying. Which, uh, and we assume that only one of them is not telling the truth. So, yeah. It is solvable, perfectly solvable. All the information is there, but it's... It's really, really difficult. Uh, I think. Just hearing all this information repeated and, you know, it's... At least for me, also easy enough to get names and mixed up and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, I know how to solve this now. I haven't tried it, but I mean, there is really only one logical solution to this. So, the second one to arrive, Yonan. Yes, blah blah blah. Yes. So Yonan says, I mean, basically Yonan's lying. Yonan says that he uh, that he saw Gans as he arrived. Uh, and and uh, the librarian Euler as he left. <clears throat> but yeah, well, I I I can't really show you this uh, the little chart I drew here. So let's just you just have to trust me on this. Um, this the next one is then Gens, who's actually in the middle. And last but not least, Kolpuni, that's the name. Yep, yep, yep. Yes. If this isn't it, then I'm really going to... I don't know, then I'm going to give up. <laughs> then, obviously, I'm not capable of logical thought. Right. You don't really have to listen to all of this again. Huh. Right. That's everyone. Hmm. Oh, yes. It's all clear now. Finish this. Build a book. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. Right. Suspense is indeed killing me. Well, not really. The thief is. Yona. Yes? Uh. Who's your optometrist? Optometrist. What? <laughs> you really should change uh, sh change or have a talk with him. Those large round frames do nothing for your angular face. I shall see what I can do. <laughs> what? That's <laughs> so dumb. You're the thief. <laughs> All joking aside, you are the thief. 
What? This is preposterous. Is it, though? Alec, wait, are you certain you're not making a grave error? Uh, yes, quite. Yodin is a regular here. I know him quite well. He's almost like a son to me. I mean, I can only say that he he is the only one who is lying. Unless both Kaldings, uh, what, what's his face? And, and Yonan, uh, both, both Kal and Gans are lying. <clears throat> so, yeah. As do I. Well, Yonan, I arrived at this conclusion after careful deliberation. We organized the alibis into a timeline of that day's events and discovered that you lied. Only a moron would think they stood a chance before Detective Lutz. You lied, admit it. Why do you think I lied? Uh, I I'll have my associate, Alec, explain that in detail. Well, when we put the alibis in a row, only yours was inconsistent with the others. Indeed. That's a general idea, but I need details. What exactly made you think I was lying? Here, let me explain. For your alibi to work, you had to have met Gens when you left, not when you entered. Uh, yes? Wait. For the alibi to work? Uh, yeah, let's just assume that's correct. <laughs> you also could not have uh, seen Mueller because he wasn't there, th here at the time. Right. W well, I... I may have remembered the details wrong, but how does that make me the thief? Because you look guilty, mister. If I'm guilty of anything, it's just having a bad memory. You can't call me a thief just because my alibi was a little off. A little off? It wasn't even close. Let's calm down. But you can't prove anything. Actually, I believe I can. Really. This should be good. Your alibi was not the only lie you told. There was another. I resent that implication. Actually, it's quite clear. You said that you've never read a history book, didn't you? Oh, but he said something about the queen and her retainers. Yep, he did. He did mention a detail of of the picture. I mean, we don't know the the uh, exact uh, contents of the of the stolen illustration, but yeah. <laughs> of course, why would I waste my time with something boring like that? Well then, how did you know that the illustration in the book was what was stolen? Uh, but, but, because... Ha! Our femme fatale nailed you a... Uh... Shh, lads. I, I was told by the manager. Yes, he's right, of course. I did tell him that we're missing an illustration from the history book. Ha! See? See? I wasn't deceiving anyone. I haven't pursued, uh, perused the history book. Except you knew what was on the picture. Well, looks like the worms got a speed. We should apologize, I guess. No, there's no need to apologize. Yonan is most definitely guilty. What? But... Dear heavens, you don't give up, do you? Yonan, earlier you said that you haven't read a history book. And that you had no need for an illustration of the Melmana pr princess and her retainers anyway. Did he mention the Melmana princess specifically? I don't remember that, but... Yeah, princes and retainers. That, mu that much I know. Your point being... And yet, the manager told you that the illustration of the Melmana royal family was missing. What? Uh, right, right. Yeah, he was talking about the Melmana royal, fa er, Melmana royal family. Don't you see it? The answer's right there. The manager said the illustration of Melmana's royal family was missing. But, Yonan said he had no need for a picture of the princess and her retainers. How did he know that the illustration was specifically of the princess and her retainers? Because the only way he could know that is if he had seen it. <gasps> well, this is certainly interesting. The missing illustration is of the princess and her retainers, right? Uh, yes, precisely. And did you tell Yonan? Uh, no, no I didn't. Then the only way he could have known it is if he was the thief. Well, or if at least he had looked at the book which he said he didn't. Yonan is not what he appears to be. Yonan? Did you really tear the page from the book? I, I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over me. Haha, -ha, and so the roach is driven into the light, so it can be crushed with the heel of justice. 
Well said, lads. Well said. No, don't crush me. <laughs> let's let's hear his side of the of this first. I I. It had been a long day, and I was tired of studying. Oh boy, what now? The next tear jerking story. All the studying is really starting to get old. I need a change. Hmm. Perhaps a new kind of book. Let's see. Adventure novel? Nah. Romance? Nah. Oh, history. That sounds good. Hmm. History of Mamana Kingdom. Let's see what this one's about. Uh, presumably history. And Mamana? The last princess of Mamana was served by her chief retainer, Rowan. Ooh, I can't believe this picture. It's. Man, what I wouldn't have given to be her guard. She's so beautiful. Oh, of course. <gasps> Maybe if I ripped it out, no one would notice. Nobody's around. No, no, Yonan. What are you thinking? That's stealing. Besides, Mueller would notice eventually. He's got way too much time on his hands. But. I must have I must have this picture to gaze upon. The princess is so lovely and my Your what? I can copy the text, but I can't hope to make a copy of the illustration. Right, because with all the the technology that is still around, there are no cameras and no no copy devices. Co copy uh how do, you, how do you even call those in English? Copiers? Oh, maybe. Uh, maybe Mueller wouldn't notice if I only took one page. I mean, it's not like I'm stealing the whole book. No, it's just like you're destroying the book. Or, well, damaging it. Besides, even if someone finds the page missing, they wouldn't suspect good, reliable, studious Yonin. I... I just... Ah! Rip. What am I doing? Oh no! What was I thinking? Calm down, Yonan. No one saw. Just calm down. Everything will be fine if I just act normally. Right, right, that's it. I just need to get ready to go home. Like usual, no one will suspect a thing. Yeah, I'll just leave the book lying there. Hey, watch it. Oh, so that's how it was. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really redeem him or anything. I don't know what came over me. I was out of my mind. When I came to my senses, I found that I was holding the page from the book. Yonan, why didn't you just tell the truth to begin with? Uh, well, I mean... Because I was ashamed. This is not something I would do. Hmm, I see. Marcia, Alec, I know that the defacement of this book is a serious crime. But I believe this was an error in judgment rather than a pattern of criminal activity. Yeah, I mean, I I agree as well. So I've decided not to press charges. You, you're not sending me upriver? <laughs> What's the fun in that? I worked hard for this convention. That's conviction, fathead. And you didn't do anything. Marcia figured this out. Hey, come on, some credit goes to me as well, doesn't it? I did figure it out eventually. You know, maybe Lutz is right. Perhaps Yonin does need to pay for his mistake. Yeah, like, what about 12 bucks? And the tape to... to, uh... tape the page back into the book. Uh, I thought... Yeah, he's doing hard time. I think he should be the library monitor, reading and cataloging all books here. He shall report directly to me. So, which is it, Yonan? Library monitor or convicted fellow? <gasps> the monitor position, of course. I I don't know how to thank you properly. After what I did to get this chance again, I just... I'm so elated. Elated? Elated? I hope you use this opportunity uh, to redeem yourself. Remember, real learning is not just gaining knowledge, but a quest to nourish the ability to see truth. I shall remember that, and believe me, my criminal days are over. <laughs> well, you should start your new job immediately. 
However, first I think you need to apologize to the people you've inconvenienced. Of course. I truly am sorry that my deception put you under suspicion. And people think I'm the criminal type, huh? This should teach them that you can't tell a crook with just a look. Crooks come in all shapes and sizes, right, kiddo? Yes, yes, I believe you've made your point. Long as you got it, kid, I'm out of here. I have learned from this experience as well. I learned that if you are innocent, patiently trusting in vindication is the best way. With that, I must leave. Please excuse me. Marcia, that was great! Can I have your autograph? Well, I'm afraid... Oh, you're right, I was... It was very rude of me to even ask. Well, see you around. I mean, if he really wants it, uh, why not just give him an autograph? No more tearing pages out of books! I know, I'm sorry. I've learned that lesson quite thoroughly. Oh, uh, well, I would think so. I like Marcia and everyone else. Except for Lutz. Thank you so much for solving this case. Thank you for giving us the chance to prove ourselves. Huh. Yes, well, speaking of proving oneself... Please excuse us, I have much to teach Yonin. Well... Marcia, that was a really impressive piece of work. If it hadn't been for you, we would have failed. No, you wouldn't have. You had me. Um, well, Marcia, thanks. You really did, so, did save the job. No. It was nothing, really. I was glad to help. It makes me feel better about how things worked out with Tikva. Well, I would say that this guild job was a definite success. Absolutely. Let's report to the guild then. Oh, wow. Well, finally. That only took me like an hour. This one job alone. Over an hour, actually. Well, yeah, if you if you count the time I spent off camera uh, drawing lines and writing names on paper. And why wouldn't you? Uh, definitely, again, uh, a good puzzle. Really good puzzle. But... Uh, I mean, no one's stopping you from doing what I did. Especially when you're just playing it on your own time and not in in a let's play context. I should have j really just paused and you know, paused the, the recording and, and thought about it for a moment and I would have come to the conclusion right away. And it would have gone much, much easier and faster. But oh well. It's done now. Right. Okay. Uh, get bounty for that. After several inquiries found inconsistencies in Yonan's testimony that indicated he was a criminal because he was so remorseful, Morzad went easy on him job complete. And fight the pet dog. A restaurant worker, Goose, is heartbroken over his missing dog, Artie. Meet him at the restaurant to uh, help him look for the dog. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to read that again. Uh, went with Goose to look for dog and encountered monsters. Defeated them, but didn't find Artie. Job proved successful when dog and owner were reunited at the end. Right. Oh, so close. Next rank at 400, right? Must be. Okay. Um, new jobs? Yes, in fact. Uh, retreat the Scroll of Truth. Oh, that sounds important. Uh, Salubari would like to borrow the Scroll of Truth from his teacher, Earth Wizard Doan, but needs assistance. Contact Salubari at the Spell Institute. Okay. Okay, that's not an essential quest. Good. Let's see here. We still have... Oh, we can actually accept both remaining ones. Except maybe in the next one is already is also a story one. Historical information. Huh. Library manager again. Morzat is compel uh, compiling a complete history of events since the Great Disaster. He needs help gathering information. Meet him in the Paces Library. Quite involved and time-consuming. Okay, so that is a story one. Uh, no. In that case... <sighs> Alright, what else was I going to say? Um, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe that was all. 
Okay. So good old pen and paper helped solve that case eventually. Uh, yeah, I really don't know. I, th I I feel like there was something I wanted to say. Maybe I'll remember. Uh, drive Lakeshore, bandits away. Right, Lakeshore. Gotcha. Um, how do we look? Status-wise? Yeah, okay, we just rested. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, right! Oh, I remember. Um, I wondered... Uh, or I can't help but wonder... What, uh, what other little details and, you know, character background would have might have surfaced if we had uh, falsely accused uh, the other the remaining people I mean since uh, we learned we learned a little bit about uh, against character actually by falsely accusing him so I wonder if the monk uh, the student whose name I can't for the life of me remember uh, and maybe even the library manager would have uh, would have uh, or what what details about them might have might have been revealed? I mean, it's a little bit unfortunate that that the only way to ever ever hear those little bits of, of story and or, and of extra dialogue is to fail the quest, and even then you you only ever get one per playthrough, basically. And of course, I I could have you know reloaded, falsely accused them just to see what they have to say, and then solve the quest successfully. But I don't know. I'm not that interest. I'm not interested enough to actually spend that much time, but it's it's interesting that they would, you know, put in all the effort to, to uh, write that write all that dialogue for different ways to fail a job. I don't know. Anyway, uh, this is where the job said the bandits were supposed to be. All I see is a nice calm lake. Well, Alec. Hmm? Doesn't this seem... A little like a deja vu? Yeah, especially now. What do you mean? Bandit attacks by a large body of water? Uh, oh no. You don't mean... Ha! Huh? Look, there's a person there. Uh, there's a person there. Oh, right. It's a girl. What? That's a girl? Didn't look like a girl. Uh... You think she's one of the bandits? I'm not sure yet. Maybe she knows something about the attacks. I'll ask her. Um, okay. Uh, excuse me. Um, excuse me. Huh, maybe she's deaf? <sighs> I guess she does wear high heels, huh? <laughs> now that I look closer. Sounds like she's got some kind of problem. Problem? Yeah, random dudes always trying to talk to her. Must be a real problem. Yeah, she's just staring at the lake and sighing. Well, let me see if I have better luck. Uh, excuse me, would, would you mind? My name is Alec. I was sent here by the Hunter's Guild. I'd like to ask you a question or two. May I? Will you listen to my story? Um, sure. Listen, then. Is this about the bandits here? In the beginning, I said no. Well? But they... they forced me. Uh-oh. Leave me alone. You need to promise that you won't do that again. But I told you, I was just looking at the lake. We know that. But what's wrong with watching the lake? That activity, that peace, is our domain. You see, we were like you once. Like me? How? I was just contemplating what to do. Exactly. We were just like that when the great disaster was over. Tired, despondent, alone. Is it not the same? Uh, yes, it is, but... Right. We felt our miserable lives were at an end, and we sought to end them in the ocean. But that's when he saved us. But I never... I know what you're thinking. Death is not the answer. But... Just embrace life and come with us. Come with you where? 
We don't know. We are on a magical journey. A journey to build a rainbow bridge in our hearts. Rainbow bridge? What are you talking about? Yes, if you follow the chief with us, you can leave your de your depressing life behind. Chief? Yes, the chief of the Rainbow Bridge Gang. Uh... There is nothing to fear. If you follow the chief, everything will be great. I can tell you want to join us already. Come on, you can't hide your enthusiasm. But I don't want to. I think you're weird. You think we're weird? Yes, because you are weird. Then perhaps you can join with the chief to lead us. This is your lucky day. I guess there's no point in arguing. Really? Haha, <laughs> we did it! Guys, she joined, she joined! Hey, I didn't say that. I just said there was no point in arguing. What's going on here? Chief, Chief, we finally found our seventh member! What? Seventh member? Yes, she's the one. She agreed to be your assistant. Your, your assistant? I didn't know such thing. But they seem to think you did. See? She's stubborn and strong. Just what we need. Is it okay if she becomes your assistant chief? Well, uh, um... Well, the Rainbow Bridge has always been a little more... Uh, well, manly. So, you're rejecting her because she's female? We need to look past her beauty and see her strength. Her questionable beauty. <laughs> After all, isn't it most important that we have a seventh member? But I didn't say I want to join. Don't interrupt. I'm in a roll with the chief. We'll have you in this gang in no time. Ja! Why don't you... Why won't anybody listen to me? Man, can't you hear what she herself is saying? She doesn't wish to be a part of our association. Yes, yes, forget about me. Forget you ever saw me. But chief, can't you see it? She's lonely, depressed, just like we were. We cannot abandon her to a desperate and lonely life. We would not be true to our colors. Well, you do have a point there. Miss, uh... Ah, whatever, I don't care. Whatever, whatever, whatever. We're so happy you ha to have joined you. Uh, what to have you join? This is a glorious day. Chief, she gave in. Can she join? Ah, whatever. Yay! We now have all seven members of the Rainbow Bridge Gang. This is fantastic! We need to drink in celebration. Yeah! Um... I mean, I'm glad to see... Oh, and... Of course, again, they reenacted this. And that's how I became the Chief's assistant in the Rainbow Bridge Gang. Uh, well, congrats, I guess. I was gonna say, I'm glad that the Chief himself didn't seem fully convinced. Maybe he's not quite as much of an idiot as his uh, five followers there. Anyway, uh, I see, but why do you feel the need to act out your flashbacks? You are the bandits robbing people around here? Were you surprised? <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah, surprised you're so stupid. Ah, enough chit-chat. Rainbow Bridge Gang, fall in. Give us all the money you have. Are you insane? Fruitcakes never win. Besides... Besides what? Well, according to your little flashback, you didn't want your assistant to join. If you're divided before us, you're as good as dead. I think you better get your little rainbow in order first. But, but that was... See? Chief, do you still resent her? Well, I just... I see. So it's true. Well, the only way to end this is for her to show you her real ability. What? My ability? If she can defeat them, will that clear up any doubt in your mind? Um, I believe... Good, okay then. Fight it out with the hunter. Huh? <laughs> Come on, you have to do it. Alright, I will. What? You will? Why? You take on this band just to prove your worth to me? Rivers flow, at length become one, and become a large ocean. The ocean is the mother of life. Yes, this is where love is born. One lives for love, believes in love, risks one's life for love. Each of us is small, but when we come together, our power is great, like a roaring river. And in that river, there is power. Ah, uh, right. 
Seems like she fits just in after all. The Rainbow Love Bridge... <laughs> what? Rainbow Love Bridge Gang? Wait, that wasn't quite right. No more embarrassments! We need to finish these kids. We need to show them the power of our Rainbow Bridge. Oh, get ready, guys. Whew. Okay. Sure. I mean, I expected this to be weird again, so I'm not even surprised. He really... <sighs> Level 40, Assistant Chief. And these are still super weak. She's not, though. Oh, this is almost, almost perfect. Mm. Such a shame. Yeah. Huh. Whatever. I'm gonna wait. Oh, whip. Uh, napalm edge. Sure. It's gonna hit uh, three, four? Three. Okay. Oh, can't jump across. Fair enough. Let's see here, what leveled up? The heat shell. Well then. Nice. Please, good damage. Oh, decent damage. Of course, these level 18 guys are not even going to give her much experience. What? Who is he trying to shoot? Oh, well, never mind. These guys just don't deal any damage. Uh, 86, huh? Well, you'd retreat. I'm going to just kill her outright. Lots. I mean, I'm sure there is nothing to steal, but I'm gonna try. No. Oh. Ouch. Um. You shoot her. Okay. With that, you should be able to maybe finish her off like that. Close? Yeah, it's super close. Damn it. Oh well. What's that? Oh, it's Circle Riot. Okie doke. Cure. Uh, who even needs healing? I, I think mostly Marcia. Okay, uh, you just end your turn. Huh. It's unfortunate. Oh wow, really? One hit point. That's... Well, that's what it is. Uh, I guess attack her like that? <laughs> there we go. No level up. Uh oh, she's hurting. Oh. Well, whatever. I'm not sure Cheryl even needs healing. And turn. She does not. Um. Sure. At this point, it doesn't really matter which spell to use. Level up? Yeah, okay. There we go. Attack, defense, magic. Good. Magic up. Nice. I'm sure glad that her, her level 1 spells are uh, leveling up to level 2, becoming much, much more useful uh, pretty quickly. We won! Yeah, big surprise there. Damn! We also somehow changed, switched sides <laughs> during the fight somehow. Somehow. It said somehow multiple times there. Whatever. And uh, you never really wanted to join their gang. Why don't you just leave? Go. Have a normal life. 
Right, Chief? If she wishes to go, fine. Besides, even with her, our performance was not very good. Yep. That's true. Don't pin that on me. What? I'm not ready to give up yet. But... You're terrible at fighting. I mean, she's way better than any of the other guys. So there is that. No, we are terrible at cooperation. With a little practice, we can work as one. Right, guys? Yeah, you're right, we can do it. Come on, guys, to the mountain training camp. Love and battle. Yeah, love and battle. Um, okay, have fun, I guess. Awkward silence. Oh, what? Come on, Chief. What are you waiting for? We can't start without you. I... Let's go. <laughs> Remember this day. It is the start of something big. Huh. Okay, now we have a seven fruit salad. Wow. I wonder how the Chief ever got that idea. Well, we can say with reasonable assurance that they're not coming back here. I call this job a success. Let's report back to the guild. Right. Another weird one. Uh, retrieve the scroll of truth. Ah, right. Yes. Spell Institute. Ah, oh, sure. Why not? Well, we don't know who that is, but I guess the actual institute is here, so... Hmm. No? No cutscene? Uh... Is it in here? Yes. Oh, so you're a subtle bowery. To bear the unbearable, fill the unfillable. Languish in darkness, though seeking the light. Long for results, when results are scarce. Ooh, this makes no sense at all. It's all... Uh, excuse me? Oh, you surprised me. Ah, you're the friend Marcia spoke of. I mean, we've met. But, yeah. Yes, my name is Alec. I've come to fulfill your request of the guild. Wonderful. It is my pleasure, Mrs. Salubari. Yes, well, let's get down to business, shall we? I'm working on a very difficult text right now, and have basically hit a wall. Uh, that's no, that's not good, Mr. Salabari has... That's not good. Mr. Salabari has been known to neglect students when distracted by a difficult passage. Ah, please don't let out all my secrets. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, please continue. Well, as I was saying, I'm stuck. My former instructor, Earth Wizard Doan, has the scroll of truth. I would like you to borrow this from him for me. When you say borrow, do you mean borrow, or...? I needed to unravel the current text I'm working on. A scroll of truth, huh. I'm fairly certain the information that will help me immensely is written on it. Ah, hang on a second. Oh, Kidog. Man, I can tell you. Stuffy nose, or a runny nose. Some of the most annoying stuff. Earth Wizard Doan. Yeah, that name sounds vaguely familiar, doesn't it? I was thinking so earlier, but maybe I'm just imagining things. Marcia, do you know him? By name and reputation only. Well, that should make it a little easier, shouldn't it? Doan is training at the peak of Mount Amater. Ah, okay. If you tell him I am the one requesting it, I'm certain he'll let you borrow it. All right. So, a major mountain path? Oh. Hmm? What's the matter, Marcia? I don't know. I just feel like Mr. Salabari wasn't himself. Something's wrong. Really? Any idea what? Well, it just doesn't make any sense. 
Why doesn't he retrieve the Scroll of Truth himself? He knows where it is and who has it. Huh. Perhaps he is too busy in his studies to take the time? Yes, but isn't he stuck in that regard until the scroll is retrieved? Hmm, good point. Doesn't that strike you as very strange? We'll see, I suppose, but I must say that I'm not overly concerned. I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, Oh, right here. Oh, lots of treasure chests. Huh. Doan. <sighs> what? Why didst thou cometh to the pinnacle of the rock? What didst lead thee to this place? Ah. Uh, what did he say? <laughs> I believe he wants to know why we're here. <laughs> oh, is that what he said? We were sent here by Mr. Salubari of the Spell Institute. He would like you to let him borrow, uh, borrow the Scroll of Truth. Scroll of Truth, eh? Or Scroll of Truth? It has to withineth iteth the soul of all creation, the ultimate wayeth of the land. It resideth in my, it resides in my hand, and shall forever th be inneth me. Okay. This guy's talking like he's got a mouthful of marbles. Or like he's losing those marbles. <laughs> Do you understand a word <laughs> this guy's saying to you? I mean, yeah? I'm not sure, but I think I understand a little. Do you understand any of this, Alec? I mean, yeah. Not really, but I'll have to make the best of it. Uh, maybe this works better in Japanese, I don't know. Sarah, can you please speak more clearly? We're having a difficult time understanding you. Thou didst not understand? I think you can understand us okay. No, we can't understand anything you're saying. So, you can't understand the tongue of the ancients, eh? Ancient what? Pea-brain mong mongoloids? <laughs> wow. <laughs> the truth of all creation is written within the scroll you seek. Will you lend it, lend it to us, then? I cannot lend it without cost or tribulation. What? How come? I shall ask the, que I shall ask the questions. Thank you very much. In fact, why don't I ask you a series of questions? Oh, that's what it's gonna be, huh? Answer correctly, and I'll lend you the scroll. That's not fair. It's perfectly fair. And as you're less than proficient in mental exercises... Oh god, more mental exercises, huh? But in any case, it's your only chance to get the scroll of truth. It appears we have no choice. Go ahead, ask your questions. Good, let's begin. A traveler is lying on the earth after his long journey. What is in his... What is in his eyes? Uh, uh, what? Uh, traveler is lying on the ground at the end of his trial, uh, of his travels. Or what? God damn it! Is the sun in his eyes? Good answer. Next question. Huh? Did we get that one right? Uh, seems like it. The Earth goes on forever, and it ends at the edge of the forever. Um, well, ends at the edge of the forever. Earth goes on forever and it ends at the edge of the forever. Who stands in the center of it? Who stands in the center of it? And back to back. <laughs> what? Um, back, what? The Earth? Goes on forever? <laughs> to the edge of forever, who's in the center, back to back? That makes no sense. Huh. Atlas, uh, Atlas is kind of funny. Um, the sky in the center of the Earth? That makes no sense. Is the ocean in the center of the Earth? I really don't know. Is there one, re one uh, correct answer for each of these? 
Good. Well, maybe it doesn't really matter what you answer. Here's the last question. Listen carefully. This is so nerve-wracking. A rocky mountain is stricken by thunder and crumbles away. From its fragments, some created weapons and others created castles. Those that made weapons waged war against those that built castles. Who would remain standing in the end? Uh. <laughs> what? Um, the weaponsmiths. Yeah, sure. No one remains standing. Good answer. Yeah, but was it the right answer? It does not matter. No, of course not. What? What is that supposed to mean? It means what it means. In some cases, it may be right. In other cases, or in another case, it might be wrong. There is truly no correct answer. I mean, for some questions, there is. But I guess not these ones. And my questions have no real meaning. That is true. Have you lost your mind? No, it is the way of the world. Everything you see around you is because you perceive it to be. I'm getting a headache. But that is a lesson for another time. This shall be the true trial. You're sure? I am. In these chests, there are talismans that represent the guardians. One each. Fire, water, earth, wind and light. Your challenge shall be to fight against the monsters I summon. You must fight the monsters while collecting the talismans. However, you cannot defeat all the monsters before gathering all the talismans. Okay, that's easy enough. Just be certain you collect the last talisman before defeating the last monster. Understand? If we do that, you will give us the scroll of truth? Yes. Alright. Alright, guys. We haven't much choice here. I expect a good fight. We're ready, Alec. I guess I'm ready to do this, too. Well then, let's go. If that's really all that is, it should be easy enough. Collect all talismans in the five chests and destroy all monsters. Caution! Do not defeat the last monster until you have all five talismans. I mean, if it's only that, I already have all those talismans, I think. Or at least, you know, copies of them. Let's see here. Okay. One chest all the way over there. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Um, well. So I guess... Alex starts making his way over there. So let's can... Go up here. Oh, nice level up. Oh, that means that um, Marseille can probably grab a kill here real quick. Yes, level 13 only, but oh well. I'll take it. Ooh, those things actually hurt. Especially given they're relatively low level. Hemoji are not really dangerous, but I don't know. I guess so long as I can still open chests as a Hemoji, I don't really mind either way. Okay, blue talisman. Right, I also completely forgot that um, you can still act after opening a treasure box. That's fine. Well, in that case, let's get all the ones out of the way that I can. Uh, you are not hurt. In that case, let's change that. Um, I mean, sure, kill that one. Probably not enough for a level up. Nope. Hmm. Well, I mean... <laughs> I 
I guess I can actually go here. No, I cannot. There we go. So next turn she should be able to collect that treasure up there, hopefully. Yeah, power jelly. Awesome. <clears throat> no counter? Good. Can finish that one off. Actually, mm, whatever. Okay. So we got only that one left. Uh, it's actually already hurt. Oh, whoops. I wasn't aware. For some reason I thought it was still unharmed. Nice. She just leveled up from doing nothing again. Oh no. Yeah, this is actually... Don't counter. Ooh. Whew. Way too scary. Okay. Uh, she's not hurt. Does no one actually need healing? Oh, interesting. Oh, might as well cure himself there. Well, you can try and steal in the meantime. Steal fails. There we go. I mean, without a turn limit or anything, this is really a bit of a joke. Kill it? I think, yeah, good. You are among the best I have witnessed. You have earned the scroll. Give it to Salubari. Thank you. Okay. What do we do with all the talismans we collected? They are yours to keep. You earned them. If you say so. Really, thank you. Oh. Yeah, thank you so much. It is nothing, really. Now I'll send you on your way. Goodbye. Oh, that's convenient. Wow! <laughs> huh. Right here, huh? Oh, what's happening? Wait, this is... We're back at the Spell Institute. I'm sorry, I didn't even hear you come in. Mr. Salubari, we got the Scroll of Truth. Fantastic. Here you are. Indeed, this is truly the Scroll of Truth. This will be invaluable in my current studies. Thank you so much. Marcia, you've chosen to work with a good bunch. I know. If you have ever another request for us, we are ready to do it. Anytime. Is this one of your party? Well, yes, sort of. Sort of? Hmm, that's disconcerting. What? I mean, what did he say? What does that mean? Never mind. Calm down, lads. Well, we'd better be going now. Thank you again for the help. Oh, uh, one more thing. Yes? Did Doan ask a number of strange questions? He did. How'd you know? I suspected. He's been like that for as long as I can remember. He'd ask strange questions of his students to put them off guard. It's one of the reasons I asked you to go for me. Ah, it makes sense, I suppose. Why didn't you warn us? I should have known better. What? I remember Doan a little from when he was here. Some of the older students used to tell tales of his eccentricity. In fact, the stories of his strange quirks overshadowed his fantastic abilities. The only part that's truly strange is that I didn't remember it sooner. That's for sure. You could have warned us. Well, look at it this way. You don't have to go back. <laughs> I guess that's one way of looking at it. Come on, let's get out of here, Alec. Yep. Uh, with that job a definite success, we should probably report back to the guild. Probably. In fact... I am going to rep 
a report to the guild, indeed. And uh, yeah, I'm going to collect the rewards for the jobs completed so far, and uh, probably also accept the next one, since wait a second. Oh, oh, we actually entered up here. Wait. Did we usually spawn in front of the library? Huh. Okay. That took me off guard a little. Just a little bit, though. Right. The bounties. Drove the Rainbow Bridge Gang from Roma Lakeshore. Despite their increased ranks, job successful. And met Earth Wizard Doan on a major mountain and asked to borrow the scroll of truth. He ordered five talismans to be collected, then granted request job complete. Oh, still expert hunter. Okay. Uh except job. More of is complaining complete his history of events since the great disaster. Needs help gathering information. Meet him. Okay. Time consuming. Just want you to know that you won't be able to take other jobs while doing this one. Right. Doesn't matter, we have completed everything so far. Okay, but with that, I am going to end this episode. I was hoping to get maybe some of the water monsters out of the way, but uh, it seems a little bit late for that now. So, we'll see what the uh, what this job we just accepted is all about next time. Maybe do the monsters as well. Uh, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.